Hey guys, iPod Crab King here, and today I'm going to be doing a review slash demo slash walkthrough of iMessage, which is a new feature in iOS 5 for iPhone, iPod Touch, and iPad. Now you may be asking yourself, why am I doing this video when I just did an iPhone and iPod Touch iOS 5 demo slash walkthrough later in my last video? Well, that's because I really just didn't think I did a great review. I didn't know much about it, and I want I didn't go as in depth as I really wanted to. And now here I'm here to um, you know show you a little bit more about it because really I love this app more than I thought. I didn't really like I said get to know it that much. And here I'm going to do my full review of it. So hope you enjoy and let's get started. So in this video, I'm going to be demoing it on my iPod Touch 4th generation. I have my brother's iPod Touch to tag along with it so I can send messages um, from either device. But basically, I'm going to jump straight in this app. Now, the way it works for iPod Touch and iPad is you sign with your Apple ID. And for iPhone users, you will sign in, or not sign in, but you will use your phone number. Now, the great thing about this, and what I really like, is for iPhone users, that it's built into the Messages app. And if you sign it, and if you text between iOS device, it will not charge you your SMS plan, which is very nice. If you, you know most of your contacts are from iOS devices, that's very nice—a nice feature that you know they want you to save money. So, but anyway, here's the interface. Uh, I already have uh, my brother, so I can text him all that kind of stuff with it. But it'll ask you here. Uh, here's how you send a new message. Basically, we have cancel. You know, two. You talk. Uh, you can here's your contact button. I have no contacts right now, but you're just gonna type that name in. You can send picture and video, which is really nice. A lot of t uh, texting apps like Text Now, Text Free, they let you great um show share great photos, but no videos, which I think is a really nice feature that I always use, and I love sharing videos. But here you go, you can send all this kind of stuff, send a lot of characters, however many you want. But basically, I already have a conversation going with my brother. Here we go, I just delete all the stuff. Uh, but I haven't, <laughs> here's my conversation with my brother right here. But basically, I'm going to text him, and or I message him, I guess you could say. I'm just going to say, I'm just going to exit out this. Uh, so here, right here, <laughs> I'm just going to say, hey, I'm just going to send... Boom. As you can see, notification right up here since he does have iOS 5. I'm just going to tap that. And as you can see, uh, in my iOS 5 video walkthrough, I actually said that it tells you, it says delivered. It tells you when they're typing. It's very fast. And it's really nice, guys. As you can see, it says deliver when it's delivered. It sends it really fast. There's a really nice animation to it. And if you look, I don't know if you can look, but down here, or right here, sorry. As you can see, there's a little, um, when he, I'm typing or when my brother's typing, I can actually see him typing just like Facebook. So, as you can see, it's right there. I'm just going to send gibberish, I guess. And it sends very fast, very nice. Now, this could be because they're really close to each other, but we have done some tests where we're pretty far away. And it does that. It's very fast, very speedy. And as you can see, you can go through your whole, you know, conversation. is very nice. Uh, I'm the blue, and he's the... Uh, I guess white is silver. We were sending photos to each other, you know, whatever. That was him using it. Uh, that's me. Uh, but anyway, uh, let's just back out of this. Uh, it's very nice. It's very fast. It's very clean. I love that clean interface that iOS really implements with this. You can add, you know, multiple little chats you can have. And like I said, I'll send a quick vo photo to me. I'm just press this button. Nope. Uh, press this button, take photo or video. I'm just going to take photo or video. Uh, turn this around. As you can see, always my funky tripod. And uh, so basically what we do is just take a photo right there. Use it. Let's back out of this. You can add like text to it. Send. It's going to send. As you can see, it says sending up there. Just gonna wait. This is a photo, so it will take a little longer. And it does take even longer with video, but not a huge deal. This is over Wi Fi, by the way. I was it's not by touch. But right there, it sent it. As you can see, right there, tap this. And I can view that photo he just sent me. Well, I sent myself. But that's basically, iMessage is a great feature. I can go here and, you know, save the image, all this kind of stuff. It's very clean. It's very nice. It's very fast. Only really bad thing I have about it is it, you can't send, let's say, uh, my brother or my, one of my friends is on an Android phone or uh, just a regular feature phone. You, you can only send between iOS device, which is like BBM, you know, 
but it's a very nice feature. I like to call it Facebook chat between iOS devices. Pretty much the same thing, except I think it implements it a little bit better with its you know new features and all the kind of stuff. But anyway, that's about it, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. That was just a little better, you know, in-depth video. I actually knew what I was doing than my iOS 5 walkthrough video. Not that, not to say that that video is bad, but I just thought this was a better, you know, more polished video, and I just wanted to go a little more in-depth with it because this is one of my favorite features in iOS 5. So that's about it, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, subscribe up above, like it, and comment down below if you have any questions about this feature. I'm Mrs. NY5, iOS 5. That's a bit of guys. iPod Craft King and I will catch you guys in the next one.